Good Friday morning. It's September 14th. I'm Maggie Glenn in for Angelina Perez. Thanks for waking up to today in Amarillo. More on those stories coming up in just a bit, but first, let's look at your weather with meteorologist Brittany Trumpy. Hey, Brittany. Hi, Maggie. Right now we're seeing a pretty pleasant start to the day. We're going to see another warm afternoon with lots of sunshine, but some showers are on the way this weekend. If we take a live look outside right now, things are absolutely stunning. We're looking at about 65 degrees, again, mostly clear skies. A couple of clouds are going to pop up throughout the afternoon and into the evening, but we are in for a great day ahead. Current temperatures throughout the region. Clayton's looking at about 59 degrees, 69 out towards Tucumcari. Clovis only uh, down to about 57 right now. Borger, 69. For your best stop forecast, we're going to see again lots of sunshine. During the uh, afternoon and into the evening, just a couple of clouds hanging out. Daytime high all the way up to about 89 degrees, so pretty nice start to your day and a warm and pleasant afternoon. I'll have more details coming up in just a little bit, but for right now, I will send it back to you, Maggie. Brittany, thank you. An Amarillo man who was arrested Sunday for carrying guns into a church has been arrested again, and the feds searched his home yesterday morning. Police say Kevin Thomas Winkle was arrested Sunday at St. Mary's after showing up to Mass with three guns. According to officials, Winkle was at another church earlier Sunday when an off duty officer was alerted to a man talking about bringing guns into a church. Police say the officer was able to identify the man as Winkle and was able to reach him by phone. The officer alerted St. Mary's Winkle was on their property. Police say at St. Mary's, another off-duty officer saw Winkle with a gun in holster and later found two more on him. After his arrest, police say they searched his car and found two rifles with multiple rounds of ammunition stored in violin cases. Police say St. Mary's was aware of Winkle before the Sunday arrest. This next part is what led to the second arrest. According to police, Winkle showed up last week to train to become an usher. During that training, police say he made several comments that alarmed staff. Police say Winkle showed them a rifle he had in a violin case along with three handguns. Police say this is why the church hired an off-duty officer to work security on Sunday. Corporal Jeb Hilton says Winkle was charged both times because the school is attached to the church. Police say they assisted a federal agency yesterday morning to search Winkle's home in the 8100 block of Challenge. An FBI official says there was law enforcement activity there yesterday. At this time, no documents have been filed involving Winkle's arrest Sunday or yesterday's search of his home. This year, the MTK Foundation is teaming up with high school football players across the High Plains to raise awareness for pediatric cancer. That's in today's Heart of the High Plains. While Levi Niebush, the executive director of the foundation, figured the players would be on board with the ribbons, he did not expect coaches to also show so much enthusiasm for the foundation. Coaches from the 23 participating schools put together a series of PSAs to help raise awareness. He says he was expecting some kickback when he initially reached out to them in the height of football season. Say, hey, you know, I, uh, two days are about to start up. I really don't have time. I didn't have a single one say no. They all came into town. They came in in their own volition, and it was it was really good buy-in. They all bought into it. Nebush says he now has formed relationships with some of these coaches and has even been invited to talk to several of the teams about pediatric cancer. It's now 6:33, and it's time to take a look at your weather with meteorologist Brittany Trump.